let's talk about health care right now, a priority number one. Uh, what's wrong with giving 30 million plus more Americans access to health insurance? Well, part of the problem is after a year of doing this, uh, it still raises taxes. It cuts Medicare a half a trillion dollars, cuts TRICARE for military people. Uh, it's going to cost a trillion plus. And uh, while it's certainly important to provide care for those people, I believe that individual states could do it better and that we can do it better because the car votes and all the special interest uh, issues that we were talking about that we all shook our heads about, uh, a lot of those are still in that bill. But, uh, but I, let me, I guess I should rephrase the question. What's wrong if spending money, if it costs, if it winds up costing money, if it winds up raising taxes on, on multimillionaires or millionaires or people even earning more than $250,000 a year, if it's going to give access to 30 million Americans so they don't have to worry about getting sick. What's wrong with that? Well, there's nothing wrong with that, but more importantly, it does raise taxes, and it does raise taxes for people who are earning less. It's going to affect businesses. It's also, uh, uh, was, as I said before, I have felt, as we did in Massachusetts, we provide almost 98% of our people with insurance, and individual states uh, would like to have that right to do the same thing and ask the federal government, how can you help us do that? Can you incentivize us to, to do it better? Maybe they'll do it better than Massachusetts and get costing, cost con uh, under control, but this one-size-fits-all plan, uh, really uh, hurting businesses and hurting individual citizens right now with all the car votes is not appropriate. Because you